at WPT London, the first WPT London event ever. We're about to go downstairs and check in with the players. Come on. Oh, hi. How are you doing? How is the uh, inaugural WPT London treating you so far? Oh, very well, you know. Every Everyone treats you nice in London. People have such good manners, and uh, you know, there's a few nice mix of people from different countries at my table: Germany and Russia. And there's a few Englishmen who are uh, cracking a lot of good jokes at the table. So it's a fun table. Now, do you find that Europeans play differently than American players? I think every person, you know, plays differently, even on different days. You know, so it's. It's hard to really put people into a group, you know. I mean, do you, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Do you have a specific strategy coming in? Because I noticed you're here at, right at the beginning of the first day. I know a lot of players come in kind of halfway through, let themselves get blinded off for a little bit. Do you have a strategy for coming in so early? Uh, I think it, to give yourself the best chance to win a tournament, it's best to show up at the beginning. I like to play the first day a lot of times when there's more than one starting day, because mm -hmm. I've noticed that. A, the final starting day tends to get the most entries and sometimes there's a problem like at the World Series last year. Right. I played day four and I came in at noon and I didn't get to play hand until five or six o'clock at night and wow. they turned away a lot of people and it was yeah. a big hectic mess. So as you can see today they only have 70. Mm -hmm. I'm betting that they have a lot, half the room is empty now but I'm betting that it might be full even overflow tomorrow and right. it might start later so I just like to avoid, you know, the <laughs> the hectic, you know, of energy of the two, the busy final day. And also, if you play today, you get a day off. And right. uh, I guess because usually Jack McClellan, he plays five one and a half hour levels, and it's a nice uh, balanced day of poker. It's not too much, you know. You play right. seven and a half hours, it's pretty normal. But I think today it's going to be two extra levels something to do with the small size of the room to get the tournament over something. I don't right, know exactly course. why, but uh, so that's an extra reason to show up and play and get a rest day. Now, speaking of the World Series, have you taken a break between now and the World Series? Or have you been playing a lot of cash games or online to get prepared for this? Yeah, I've taken it pretty easy. I've just played a bit online. Uh, I was going to play the Cyprus tournament, but I didn't make it out there in time. I played a, a episode of Late night, po uh, late night poker in Cardiff. So, yeah, it's been pretty easy. So I have a lot of energy to play now. Now, do you think that makes a difference? Do you think playing straight through gives you momentum, or do you think a break maybe lets you get a chance to rest and then play harder? Uh, I think it all depends on the individual. Some people need to be in the flow and in the groove and playing a lot to play their best. Other people, you know, sometimes need a break. It just sort of depends on the flow of how it's going for a regular person. For me, I right now I seem to play uh, seem to play better if I kind of play a little more and get into a flow. It's okay. like at the World Series this year, you know, it took me a little while to get into the groove of it, so but it just it can go either way. <laughs> Now, do you think a smaller field size today, you said you only had 70, so is this like a little bit easier to navigate? Do you find it easier when you, when you can see all the players that you have to deal with and you kind of know your field size? No, not really, because you're just only concerned about the people at your table, whether there's six other tables or 600 other tables, none of that really matters, you know. Uh, I guess once in a while, in a bigger tournament with a lot of people, you might take a few more chances because you know somewhere in those other tables somebody's got a lot of chips and you want to be a big stack. And, but in general, it's just, you know, you worry about your table and that's pretty much it. You worry about the hand that you're in. So. Now, speaking of that, is there someone that you absolutely do not want to see at your table? Someone that you don't want yeah. sitting right behind you? Yeah, maybe someone who had a really bad night and they have like a couple of guns and knives and crazy look in their eyes. I wouldn't probably feel too comfortable with that person at my table, but uh, I think it would probably still be okay, though. So you feel pretty confident playing with anyone, any other professional poker player at your table. You think you can handle it? Can I handle it? <laughs> uh, actually, I sometimes enjoy playing with better players and... Uh, 
you know, as I got better in poker, I was there was a period where I was just only seeking to play with people better than me because then I knew that that would help me improve faster. So sure. So then, do you ever find it difficult to play against really amateurs like Fish? Do you, when they start yes. playing really terribly, do you have a problem? Actually, that's where I struggle sometimes because if I'm up up against a good player and I see they're playing well, it sort of motivates me to try harder. Right. And uh, keeps me focused. But sometimes, if someone's not playing that well, <laughs> it's hard for me to you know try to beat them as badly as I can. It's like <laughs> it's just like. Uh, I don't know. In, in other sports or other games, if you're beating somebody, you know, ten to nothing in a <laughs> football match, I mean, are yeah. you going to be playing your absolute best at that point? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, of know. course not. So sometimes I do have uh, trouble playing my absolute best when people aren't playing that well around me. But right. So do you have? I mean, how's it been going so far? You've had 90 minutes, one level. Yes. So. You feel pretty pretty well so far? Are you doing okay? Yeah, I've enjoyed the game so far. Excellent. So do you have any strategies going into the rest of the day? Uh, well, are you going to tell anyone at my table? I absolutely will not, I promise. I don't know. I think I'll just keep it to myself. But. All, right. All right, well, fingers crossed. I'll keep watching you. Have an excellent time, and I wish you good luck.